And now we are going to shape the cheekbones. We are going to use Femme Couture Mineral Effects Illuminator and also our bigger highlighter slash illuminator brush. Take quite a bit of the powder and take it down the cheeks and up and do that several times until you feel like you've got enough. Okay, I think that is enough for one side. Moving on to the next side, we will do the same thing. Okay, that's it for the cheekbones. Now we're going to take the same illuminator and brush and we are going to apply that to the chin. Right under the lips. There. That should be it for the illuminator. Taking our Pearl Essence Pink blush from Wet n Wild and the blush brush. Dab the brush in the blush and I've already done this side and what we're going to do is take the blush down lower and then go up In circular motions and come back down and do that again and blend Okay, so that is it for the Pearl Essence Pink. Now we are going to take Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild. Use the brush that it came with. Get a little bit of the blush on the edge right there. And then you take that, start around the middle of your ear and take that right out and blend and do that again Going up a little bit higher this time. And then really start to blend that as good as you can. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. To 
soften the harsh contouring, you can take your foundation brush and just go back over lightly, which is what I did. That should be it for the blush. I think we're actually going to go back to the illuminator and using the large highlighter slash illuminator brush, get some more of that on your brush and go back over the cheeks to make it pop a little more. And just kind of go down and up. So, there you have it. And I think what I'm going to try to do is take my small illuminator brush, get a tiny bit of illuminator on the brush, and kind of go over the harsh line of the eyelid. To just sort of soften it. There you have it. So just do the same on the other side. Okay, now we are going to do the eyeliner. As you can see, I have already done one eye. And I will show you how I did that using my Black Onyx self-sharpening eye liner and I'm going to start in the very inner corner of my eye taking it slightly past my natural inner corner So far, so good. And then we are going to take the liner out. So you want to get a pretty um, sharp, thin tip there. And then go in. Okay, now we're going to do the lower eyeliner. So just go from the outer corner of your eye in and not all the way to the inner corner. going to thicken that up a little bit to match the other 
side, other eye. There we have it for Madonna's eyeliner. And this is a little more over the top, like in the Give It To Me music video. And next is mascara. I will be using Estee Lauder Magnoscopic Maximum Volume Mascara in black. I'll also be using my lash comb. So just take the mascara and apply it to the upper lashes first. Getting all the way down to the roots. Okay, take the comb and carefully comb the lashes to make sure they're separated. And put another coat of mascara on top of that. Okay, now we are going to do the lower lashes. And again, make sure you get to the roots. Comb the lashes and apply another coat of mascara. Okay, and then you're going to be doing the exact same thing to the other eye. For this look, I will be using false eyelashes, Revlon Beyond Natural Long Volumizing Lashes, and um, Strip Lash Glue from Sally's. So I have cut the lashes to where they're only about three fourth lashes about like that. They're not full width wise and we are going to want to apply these on the outer parts of our eyes for that longer narrower eye illusion. So take the strip glue or lash adhesive just apply a thin strip of lash glue on the lash and place it on the lid over the liner and you wait for that to dry and you do the exact same thing on the other eye. <laughs> 